Governor DeSantis was in South Florida today to sign a bill into law that creates a curriculum that would teach Florida students the history of communism, including about the Maduro regime. Today marks the 63rd anniversary of the Bay of Pigs invasion, and this new law is being applauded by South Florida's exile community. Local 10's Glenna Milberg is live in Miami with the details. Glenna. Nicole, you know, even at the very beginning of his campaign, the governor learned very quickly how communism and socialism were so deeply personal to so many people in our community. And apparently that is exactly why he chose South Florida to come and stage the signing for this bill. The ceremonial signing. <laughs> The Bay of Pigs Museum, an anniversary as backdrop. We're going to tell the truth about the evils of communism. The name of Florida's newest education bill is unemotionally titled History of Communism for K-12. through The new curriculum yet to be written plans to expand what students currently learn in history and social studies and reading between the lines to counteract what state lawmakers believe is an incomplete, misinformed view of communism. Sometimes our students are taught that social um, is something good. Everywhere it's been tried. Show me one place where it's worked. It's not worked. And so not only has it not worked, but it's been to the detriment of the people of every one of those countries. We work with folks down. here in South Florida. Communism, socialism, they're not just forms of economic theory, but inextricably tied with dictatorship and regimes so many here know firsthand. I think that we have here the proof from the people that have fled and have the stories that they will tell you time and time again. And you can look throughout history. History speaks for itself. Some on Miami-Dade School Board have that first-hand connection and liken lessons about communism to Holocaust education. As these uh, family members of ours who went through this begin to you know, become older and some of them pass away, the story starts to fade away. And we want to make sure that the story never fades away. The detail of all this will be in the curriculum when it is written, and that's going to be a while. This does not even take effect, this curriculum, until the 26-27 school year. A couple of other things that this new law does, it expands a democracy think tank from FIU, the one at FIU, to Miami-Dade College, and it also orders up a blueprint for what may be a communism history museum, likely right here in South Florida. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Miami tonight, Local 10 News. Okay, Glenna, thanks.